Calculate the cost of starting your own business. Before you do any estimating, it's important to understand how startup costs are categorized. All startup costs, meaning the period before you start generating income, include two kinds of spending, expenses and assets. Expenses. These are the costs for operations that occur during the startup phase. Although they will continue throughout the life of the business, startup expenses include deductible items such as travel, payroll, rent, office supplies, marketing materials, etc. Expenses also include initial organizational costs like legal fees, state and corporation fees, etc. You can write off up to $5,000 in business startup costs and another $5,000 in organizational expenses in the year that you start a business. Assets, also known as capital expenses or expenditures. These are the one-time costs of buying assets such as inventory, property, vehicles, or equipment, as well as making upfront payments for security deposits. These startup assets don't usually qualify for deduction. However, some can be written off through depreciation at tax time. The SBA offers a mobile application or app that includes a startup cost calculator. Visit www.sba.gov to download this tool. Here are some questions to ask to keep costs down. Could you run a home-based business? Instead of buying inventory up front, could you have manufacturers drop ship? Could you subcontract rather than hire employees? What about buying surplus office equipment and furniture from the government at or below cost? Now that you have completed the course, take the next steps. Put what you have learned into action. Step 1. Identify a business idea that you want to start. Step 2. Describe your ideal customer or client and how you can help them. Step 3. Identify sources of funding to start your business. Step 4. Prepare a business plan and discuss it with a mentor, business coach, or SBA representative. Many resources are available to assist you. The following resources can help you build a foundation of knowledge. SBA has over 60 district offices throughout the country to help you start and grow your business. The U.S. Small Business Administration partners with a variety of service centers and mentors to help your business. Over 14,000 mentors and advisors provide one-on-one -on -one assistance, training workshops, and other forms of technical assistance. Your local SBA district office can help connect you with a business advisor at SCORE, a small business development center, a women's business center, economic development cluster, financing or procurement specialist, and more. Find your local resources online by using SBA Direct, SBA's online search engine connecting you with nearby specialists. You can also call SBA at 1-800-U-ASK-SBA. You are also welcome to take additional free online courses by visiting www.sba.gov slash training. Congratulations on completing this course. We hope it was helpful and provided a good working knowledge on how to set up your business. You earned a certificate of completion from the SBA. You can also download an action checklist to assist you as you take the next steps on your path to entrepreneurial success. Look for additional specialized courses in SBA's Encore Entrepreneurship Series. Visit our Encore Entrepreneurship online hub to access more resources.